Hello, this is Brogy Crash, and welcome back to Let's Play Donkey Kong Country. Now, I have been doing things, and as a result, I have not been uploading as re as I really get bad. I'm already back to old habits. Okay, not a problem. I've not been uploading as frequently as I should have been, but I hope I can be forgiven for that because I am getting back to it right now. I totally am. Like, see, I told you that boat gets bigger, smaller, bigger, smaller, bigger. Farther away, closer. Farther away, closer. Uh, Australia, America. Australia, America. Uh, in Chimp Caverns, we don't tolerate that kind of crap, sir. And speaking of, we are moving on to Chimp Caverns. This is the last area, well, kind of the last area in the game. And it is a bit of a dick. Basically, everywhere else in the game was a warm-up. And this is when the game says, okay, you know what? You have to die now. Because you've just been, you know, you've been going through this country all unimpeded and shit until now. Yeah, that's... That's going to change right now. And, um... Yeah. So you can probably already... You've, like, you know, if you have eyes, ears, and a brain, you've already figured out the gimmick of this level. And, yes, you do start getting less fuel over time. Incidentally, I am a little bit out of practice, so I might die a few times. Hopefully that is not a problem. I would hope it's not a problem, but if it is a problem, well, big deal, because I'm a guy who does it. I don't know why I would want that. I really don't. Fuck off, On Guard. Nobody likes you. Well, okay, that's not true. Everybody likes On Guard, except, mm, I don't know. On Guard is weird. He was, in, he was in all three Donkey Kong Country games, and he was in Donkey Kong 64. Oh, shit. Okay, that's fine. But, I don't know. He just seems underwhelming. Like, he's okay. He's not bad or anything, but it's like... On Guard is the one who comes back for every game. Rambi. Rambi doesn't come back for, um... I think he comes back for two, but not three. Um... Hey, we got the tire. That's pretty cool. I just realized that. I wasn't even... I'm consciously trying to keep the tire on there, and we just kind of did, so that's all right. Anyway, uh, what was I going on about? Um, Rambi. Rambi does not... Oh, Jesus, fuck. What? Ah, man. Anyway, Rambi doesn't come back for Donkey Kong Country 3. Instead, you get a friggin' elephant, which is actually not bad. But, you know, the point remains. Um... On guard. Seriously, like, he's a fish. He's a... S okay, he's a fish that's a very pointy fish, and he stabs people with his pointy point of point. I'm sure you get my point by now. <laughs> Shut up! Anyway, um... <laughs> uh, do we need this tire? I, I wonder, honestly. Because if we don't... Eh, it's not that hard to get on there. Which is what she said. Ha 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 ha. Yeah, shut up. Anyway. <laughs> um. Uh, I don't know why I was so transfixed on On Guard for a second there. Um. Uh, but yeah. Uh, the Animal Buddies. If you force me to it, I'd have to say my favorite of them. Probably. Squitter. Oh, what the hell? Do I. I wonder, do I need the. I'm out of practice with this freaking game. I don't know if I need the tire there to get over those uh, bees, wasps. Shut up. Or not. <laughs> um, eh, whatever. I did say Squitter, right? Squitter's the favorite? Yeah. Um, It's partially because he's the most useful in terms of getting to places, because he can basically get anywhere, because he can just make those webs and shit. But it's really mostly because he has shoes. He has eight legs and he has shoes for all of them. That's hilarious. Seriously, come on. That's... You have to give rare wear. Yeah, I say rare wear, not rare... <laughs> uh, but yeah, you have to give them some props for that. That's... That is comedy gold right there. We. Oh god. Come back, tire. I need you. Hey, I don't. I mean, I don't need the tire... No, I don't need the tire. Fuck, fuck the tire. Go to hell, tire. You're you're being a tire. Why are? 
You know what? We probably don't need the tire. We probably do not need the tire for any damn thing, and I'm just lugging it all over the damn place. Oh, hey, it's turning out to be useful. Oh, jeez. Oh, man. Oh, jeez. Oh, fuck. Oh, oh, I see what you did there with your feckin'... We didn't need the tire. What the f... Ah. Christ. Okay, that's... Whatever. We're done this with this level. Um... You know, it's actually a bit of a refresher. Um, refreshment. I'd like some. I have some refreshments. I have some tea right here. Ah, but it's actually a bit of a refreshing thing because I've just been playing Sonic Generations, and naturally, I beat the game a hell of a long time ago. But um, I'm going back and doing all the crap, like S ranking everything, which is done. Uh, ah, frig. That's probably a bonus level. But like S ranking everything and getting all the red rings and everything. Uh, no, it's not because I went back there that other time and it wasn't okay. But anyway, and it's just like such a pain after a point. Like it's a fun game, and getting all that shit is fun. But it's like just such a pain because you just realize, oh fuck you, Rambi. Nobody likes you anyway. Um, but it's just such a pain because you know you go through it, and if you don't get the collectible, whatever the hell you want, you have to go back all the way to the friggin' beginning a lot of the time because you'll accidentally hit a checkpoint, and then you can't start over and blah da 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 da. But in this. Fuck! <laughs> but in this, um, I'm feeling it because it's all we have to do is get through the stage and then we're done. And I can do the, uh, Woody Majiggers on a different run, the, uh, bonus levels. So. I. What? And furthermore, why are there caves in caves? There's a. That. You remember I said before in, um, I believe it was, uh, Crime Crack Industries? That cave sign shows up in, like, every map, I swear. See, I did say that. Totally. Totally said that. Um. I probably should have broken that. But, uh, yeah, that the cave sign was there? Yeah. Well, the cave sign is not only just in every level. It's in every area, including an area that is itself a cave. It's... I'm not going to say Caveception because that's retarded, but... Caves. Wait a minute. I just realized something. They are my old nemesis. They are returning. They heard what I said in Chosai Densetsu, in Legend of the Super Saiyan, how I really hate caves. And they're like, you know what? We hate you too. What the fuck was the... Didn't die because that was apparently a bonus level. This is your idea of a bonus level. Throwing tires of death at people. That's a that's a bonus. I can I can just keep doing it too. This is this is awesome. Oh, I see what screwed up my timing. Oh, okay, there's a G. That's fair. That's that's okay. I like G's. Hey, bonus level. Oh geez, it's one of these. Um This one? Yep. Okay. Alright, so... Um... Don't have much to say, except that we finally know what these guys are. They're in the title of the stage. They are mincers. They're tires with asses hanging out. Well, tails, but, you know, whatever. And they're apparently called mincers. This should be a disturbing image, but really it's not. I don't know. Uh, ah, oh, frig, I should have broken that. Should, 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 coulda, woulda, shoulda, put a bowling ball in your rectum. I, I don't know why anyone should do that. In fact, I would not assume it would come highly recommended by anyone. Except, of course, for manufacturers of bowling balls. Because then you would have to buy a new one. And if that happens, they make money. And if they make money, then you do not make money because you gave it to them. I'm really stalling for time until I can figure out something else to so oh, crap. Um So yeah, um I suppose it's basically um I should stop saying um. I suppose it's basically it's late at well it's not really late, but it's kind of late and I can't think of words. My perspicacity has been eroded. Except right there. Um but yeah, 
it's obligatory. That's the fucking word I was looking for. Um, to say that this game is atmospheric as fuck, but I don't know. Like, I don't have any issue with the mist here or anything. Like, it's pretty cool, and it's especially cool for 1994. And when you first go through this game, it's like, holy crap, that is so awesome. But I don't know. This particular mist effect just feels unspectacular to me. And I know you're saying, well, Perugi, you could make your own mist, and then you could show all those... Oh, fuck! I thought there was something down there, and there probably actually is, but... Nah. But you could make your own mist, and you could show those bastards at Rareware how you do atmospheric as fuck. And I say, I could, but I'm not gonna... I knew it. There was a fucking bonus level down there. I could, but I'm not going to. You know why? Because mist is a total pain in the ass to draw. Seriously, I don't... Act... O-N-G... OMG, that's ONG. I got nothing. <laughs> I got a bird in a mine. I don't really know. Ooh, why what the hell was I going for that? I don't want it. Um I should really stop saying that I about like everything that I come across. I know it's a let's play, but Jesus Christ, my my entire dialogue is just like uh, well, I should, you know, yeah, I don't want that, though. And then, uh, you, well, you know this one time, um, this thing happened, and then, um, uh, you know, something, and, oh, hey, there's an armadillo, and it's just, uh, yeah, but, you know, I don't know, I'll work on it. Figure out something else to say. And now I can only focus on how my voice is going like this a lot, and it's just sort of like, take a breath already, bro, and I'm like, no, why are you talking to me as though I am someone else? And then it's, um, I don't know, anyway, loopy lights. Uh, what happens here? Oh yeah, okay, yeah, um, ooh, these guys are bastards. They only jump when you jump. But yeah, loopy lights, it's a bit like, uh, stop and go station. They have an excuse to use those barrels again. The lights turn off, and then you have to turn them back on. Um, not really the worst thing in the world if the lights turn off. Okay, never mind. That's actually pretty goddamn bad. It's not that bad on a uh, CRT TV, but I'm doing this at a kind of weird angle on um on a uh, liquid crystal. My God, when's the last time anyone on Earth said liquid crystal? But uh, I am dating myself, and we're at the third date now, and I think it's getting pretty serious, but... Uh, <laughs> uh, I got nothing going on. <laughs> ah, crap. Okay. Oh, jeez. Where am I? Where, what the fuck is going on? I can't see. There we go. That's... Lights came out just in time to die! Some more tea. Ah. Okay, let's hit that barrel. Kill that Kremlin. Get this barrel. Hit that barrel. Kill that Kremlin. I killed my monkey. Okay. Um. Uh, if I recall correctly, Donkey Kong is an ape, but Diddy is a. That was a bird. He was gonna kill me. What a bastard. Um. Donkey Kong is an ape and Diddy Kong is a monkey, right? There's That's the difference between them? Monkeys have tails? I think. Please tell me I'm thinking. Oh, fuck you, Kremlin guy. With stuff. I just realized again that Donkey Kong is wearing a tie. This is gonna bug the hell out of me now. It's like... The only article of clothing is a tie. Why? It's It doesn't cover anything... But he doesn't have anything to cover. He's an ape. He's a gorilla, for Christ's sake. It, uh, I don't know. Okay, well, anyway, moving on. Um, not finding... I'm not finding a hell of a lot to say about this. We're just, like, getting through now. It's like, okay, we're gonna finish this fucking game. I swear to God. And then other stuff will happen, and then we'll have ice cream. Ice cream is pretty good. Oh god, that's a wasp. I could barely see it. There's a light. It's a crappy light, but it's a light. Yeah, I guess. Fucking light thinks it's so... Oh god, I can't see. Oh god, what do we do? Okay. I really should have just taken the blind jump, but I guess I mm, I would have probably hit one of those barrels. Oh god, do not turn the lights off right now. Oh fuck you with the 
space. Where's the barrel? Oh God! Okay, I'm gonna. If this fucks up the recording, I'm sorry, but um, no, it should be fine. But I'm just gonna adjust it a little bit there. Uh, if it desyncs the audio or some bullshit like that, I'll just go back later and fix that. But I don't think it will. Oh God. All right, but yeah, um, the angle that my uh, moniker was at was a little bit fucked up, so I couldn't really see that well. Now I can see a little bit better, so that's all right. I hate those things. They're not that difficult to deal with. It's just like you know, it's one, they're they're one of those things where it's like once you get past everything else that you're actually concentrating on, those things pop up, and it's like, okay. Um, you weren't actually supposed to kill me. You're supposed to be that crappy enemy that nobody really cares about in the background. And then you die. And it's no good. I don't need extra lives, so I should not kill myself with an attempt to get the... Oh, jeez. Okay, we gotta fucking go. Without question. There we go. Just enough time. Oh, hey, bananas. Banana. Oh, <laughs> what a bastard. Okay, we broke physics. It's just like, yeah, okay, we're just... That's the closet. We're just we're gonna go through the door now. Alright. <laughs> okay, candy save point, and... Obligatory? Alright, we're at 86%. We're kicking ass. By the way, we'd be at like 50% or so if we didn't, um... Get all those bonus levels, so... That's what that does for you. Um, I don't remember if I said, like, right at the beginning. That's just a really bad recolor. I'm sorry. But I don't remember if I said right at the beginning, um, that I don't think I've ever actually gotten 100% before. So, it's going to be as much a surprise to you as to me. Well, not to you, because you are probably somebody who's played the hell out of this game before and 100%ed it. Because apparently everyone on the internet has beaten games harder than I have. Bastards. Yeah, I just called everyone on the internet a bastard. What are you going to do about it? Advance on me? I'd like to see that. Um, that joke doesn't work unless you actually do it, so I blame you. Yeah, I just blame the internet. Yep. Yeah, I'm just pissing off the internet today. That's, that's what I intend to do. Fucking armadillo. Now you go die. Oh... M. G. <laughs> I already used that joke, and it wasn't even funny the first time. I got a monkey. Well, I got an ape. I got an in. Die, beaver. Die, other beaver. I'm tremendously impatient, so I'm cartwheeling. Even though it doesn't really do things for me. Oh, shit. Why the hell would I... Alright, moving on. It's not like a New Super Mario Brothers or something where those would actually take you to a place. That will fucking kill you. So, um... I kind of like how some of them go down, but some of them just fall like that. Because, like, this, this is the... W Seriously, I said this already, but this is the worst recolor ever. I just realized he's in camo. He's in pink and blue camo. Who do you think you're fooling? Just go... Get out of here. Incidentally, those guys, even Donkey Kong, can't kill by jumping on them. You have to hit them with a barrel. But I think that's, like, the only stage he actually shows up in, so we're not going to illustrate that, I don't think. Hopefully not, anyway, because if that we do, that means we're frickin' dead. Oh, fucking ass. All right, let's take that wasp. I'm pretty sure even barrels can't kill those guys. So that worked out just fine by me. Uh, maybe they can. I don't know. Um, no. I'm pretty sure you can't kill the red ones with barrels in this one. I'm not sure why there are four colors of them either. In Donkey Kong Country 3, there's only two. And they make sense. You can kill the green ones. You can't kill the red one. Uh, maybe you can kill the red ones with TNT. I don't know. I forgot. I should... This entire time, I've just been talking about frickin' Donkey Kong Country 2 and 3. I should save that for when I actually do these. Now as for Donkey Kong Country 1, I don't know. 
The reason why I keep doing that, I think, is because Donkey Kong Country 1 just... You know, I shouldn't be saying this about a game that I'm actually playing, but it just isn't as interesting. Oh god. Um, but yeah, I don't know. It's just like, it's got so much short, more shit going on in 2 and 3. And they're both just these fantastic-ass games, and then one... It's like, it's great for its time and everything, and it's a great first try, but it's like... And it's like fantastic platforming, and it's very solid in its fundamentals, but it's just... Compared to those two, there's not much going on. Hey, is that the boss? That's the boss. We're freaking done, almost. Sweet. Okay, Neki's Revenge. Um, remember Neki? Yeah, apparently he got a case of heart failure, so he's purple now. And, um... <laughs> We're gonna beat the crap out of him. And the only real difference between them is that now you can't hurt him until he finishes spitting these things at you. And he spits more of them. Big frickin' deal. And his plasticine eyelids still pop off. You know, I have a thought. Um... I think we're gonna... what we're gonna do is just go right ahead and kill King K. Rool. Because I'm gonna have to go back and do some bonus crap anyway. You know, we might even just make this whole thing one big ass video, but obviously you'll see what I've done to it um, by the time we actually start the damn thing. Uh, well, by the time I upload it, I mean. So, yeah. Gangplank Galleon. This is the last area. This is just a boss fight. We don't have any fighting or area to go through or whatever the hell. And the King Fatass is here. His stomach is apparently made of gold because it's the same freaking texture as his crown. Oh my god. This is the most threatening thing in the world. He just runs back and forth. Boing. Boing. Oh, what the Oh, you're not supposed to do! I literally did the three days, you fucking piece of shit! And fucking... Okay, that's enough. Um, <laughs> back to work. It is starting to feel like work. I don't know. I really want to do a different let's play, but um, I'm sure you could have. I'm sure you could tell that already. I'm not really emoting that much, am I? But uh, yeah, this guy isn't too hard to beat. Okay, anyway, now let's hit him again, and then we'll be all good. And here, here's what he's doing, what he's supposed to be doing, which is jumping. And he's supposed to be, like, jumping and jumping all over the place. And then, oh my god, he totally hit me in the face with a cannonball. What a dick. And it's like, he's gonna throw his crown again. And oh my god, like, I couldn't see that coming. Ha! <laughs> cannonball, 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 go! And this time they're gonna come back... This is like the easiest boss in video game history, and I can't beat him, apparently. Oh my god. This isn't good. Okay, let's beat the crap out of him this time. Alright, um, his crown is... Oh, I see, they've got like emeralds in his crown or something. I thought that was just really crappy. Oh, maybe not. Are you seeing this? There's like green on it, and I can't tell if it's... Emer I think it's emeralds. I'm gonna give it the benefit of the doubt and say it's emeralds, but it looks kind of like it's fucking up on trying to be transparent or something. Okay, anyway. That's how you do that. You have to jump through it, sort of. See, that shading looked really cool, like, back in 1994, but now... I don't know. Whee. Now it just looks really, really pla- It doesn't even look plastic, it looks Play-Doh. Like, I could have plastic, but it looks Play-Doh-y, and it's just weird and wrong. But that's not a problem, is it? No, because we're going to beat the crap out of this guy. I just realized it's cloudy. I've never actually noticed that before about the sky. It's cloudy, and it's also got, like, multiple layers of parallax, so it's like... Shifting. I should not be not paying attention because he's gonna throw his crown. There, he's dead forever. He will never rise again because he's made of crap and dead. 
Credits. Coding Claptrap. Characters. Crusha. Wait a minute. These aren't real staff member names. These aren't the real credits at all. The end? Question mark? I don't think so. Do I get a barrel? He's up. Oh, go. Fuck you! Okay, that's another thing. <sighs> Finishing off the tea. Okay. Um, but yeah, that's another thing. Um, in the... Fuck off! <laughs> that was awesome! But yeah, that's another thing in the... I swear to God, I'm going to finish this Um, in uh, two and in three... I think in three, maybe not three. Yeah, I'm pretty sure in three, but I don't know. Maybe, maybe not. Your mother. Your mother smells like a penis. I don't really know why that would be, but anyway. In those ones, you get DK barrels in mid-fight, and it's pretty cool because you actually get a chance to recover, but in this one, you don't. You just have this kind of bullshit falling on you. But yeah, that's, those clouds are actually pretty goddamn cool. They look kind of... I don't know. They look kind of n 64 y which is odd. Very odd indeed. Oh yes, quite odd. But I tell you, the more odd thing is why the hell cannonballs would look like this? They're all fucked up on their texture and shit, and we're gonna jump on him again. And now he's dead. In spirit, anyway. It will, the body will follow and stuff, and will break his back and ask him whether his spirit or his body will break first, and he will reply with, I am the law, and I'm mixing up my franchises again, but it doesn't really matter because that would be a pretty epic crossover, am I right? Oh, God, fuck you in the face with a rake. Um, he's up, he's up. Oh, jeez, he's skipping the credits, apparently. Oh, God. Okay, now I remember. He's doing the Bowser thing. Boing, 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 boing! Go to hell! Yeah! We beat King K. Rule, the easiest boss in video game history! And we got a regular banana for it. Holy shit. Well done, Donkey, my boy. Who'd have thought a young whippersnapper like you could have beaten that bunch of no-good Kremlings? You've made an old man proud. I pulled a testicle in Vietnam. <laughs> Look in your hoard. I think you'll be in for a surprise. If I had been playing, I'd have found everything. Because I'm old and a jerk. I'm sure there must be some bonus rooms you haven't found. Go get those extra lives. It's like, even more than the 50,000 you already have. Yeah, so this is the plot of the game. Donkey Kong beats the fuck out of so many crocodiles who want his bananas. I really don't know why. And then he gets them back. I don't know. But yeah, I don't know. I'm thinking this will be the finale, and we'll do the, um, 100% shit as a bonus video. Because I forgot about the existence of credits. I mean, we have to watch the... I'm not credits, uh, staff rolls, whatever the hell... What the hell is this? This is the... I think it's said at the very beginning, staff roll or something like that. I don't know. But anyway. So, yeah. I have very little to say about these guys. Like, it's not that they're bad designs or anything, but they're just... Mm, I don't know. Clam boat. Clam. <laughs> uh, I see what you did there. <laughs> but yeah, it's like, I don't know. The enemies in um, Donkey Country 2 and 3, they all have personality. It's like the it's like the creative team got into it. Like they knew what they were able to get away with at that point, and they did it. And it's like in this... I don't know, it just feels all subdued and crap. And it does look like all of them are probably first made in plasticine or something. I'm not saying that's a bad thing, it's just, you know... Worst pellet swap ever. Um... I don't believe I've actually said anything of use this entire video. <laughs> 
Ah, <laughs> uh, no jokes. Th I don't think there were any jokes. Um. <laughs> And, yeah, Master Neki's senior. Apparently he's very senior because he's blue and he can't keep his circulation going very well. Dumbass. <laughs> Alright, so we got Rambi, Espresso, On Guard, who returns in every goddamn game. Uh, Winky. See, now Winky and Rattly. I think he's Rattly? The snake? They're honestly about equal to me, except Rattly can super jump. Winky probably would have been able to super jump, but, you know. Eh. Winky has really weird hit collision. It is you next. You're an old fuck who couldn't wait your turn. He has a poster of Candy Kong. That's... Creepy, because I think at this point she's the only female Kong in existence. And she is a Kong, so, you know, they're related. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was awesome. <laughs> he kicked him right in the ass. <laughs> and then he bit his finger. <laughs> ah, slapstick. I did this using one life. No, you didn't, you lying bastard. And I took less than an hour. Oh, fuck, you know you didn't. You're, like, not good at stuff. Cranky bastard. You just sit there in your rocking chair and admonish everyone else for... M. Wilson. Okay. Um... <laughs> okay, Bela... You know, I don't recognize any of these names... Did they change, like, the entire frickin' staff for 2 and 3? Because that really would have made sense. It's kind of interesting that, um, by the time 3 came out, the N64 was out. I th think, don't quote me on this, but I think that was the case. Maybe it was out faster in Japan, but that doesn't make any sense. Where was in Europe? I don't know. Anyway, um... But yeah, it's still, at the time, it had pretty fantastic graphics, and I don't know, but... And that's something I have to wonder about. Um, apparently Miyamoto didn't like this because he said people only liked it for the graphics, and I say bullshit. It was, it has, like, even Donkey Kong Country 1 has very, very, very solid mechanics. It's freaking awesome. It's like... And then 2 and 3, they take those mechanics and they put a hell of a lot of awesomeness around them. And it's pretty good. And it's like, you know, if you took out the graphics, why would you do that? Like, if you took out the graphics, people would like it probably just as well. But why would you do that? Anyway, that has been Donkey Kong Country 1. I don't know what the hell I'm going to play next. Um, you can go ahead and leave suggestions. Uh, I think I want to do, like, a really short game. Like, something I can dust off in, like, an hour. And then I'll do a long one again. I don't know what. Maybe Donkey Kong Country 2. Maybe a Zelda. I don't know. But, um... Yeah, so... That has been Donkey Kong Country 1. This has been Progi Crash. Um, signing off, at least until we get the bonus video up. See ya.